All right, I'm gonna wait to give you um, a shout out until we've been streaming for a little while. So we'll catch a few more people that way. All right, let's go, it says. So, you know, when we're ready to go, we're ready to go. Let's get it started. Ooh, I gotta move PFlight's name over though. All right, there you go. PFlight, a former champion. And we have our current champion on board, Chess Wizards here to start. So just so you guys know, we are going to do a one-on-one -on -one lesson and LLMP, one thing he wanted to do was go over some more Dutch defense openings. So we're gonna do that. But before we do that, we're gonna hit him up with some end games, some that are pretty simple, but we're gonna hit him up some, with some end games and see how he feels about that. Um, we have been working with him for a while. I know him personally. So uh, I've been working with Chess Wizard for a while. And for the fun part is both of them, I've been doing one-on-one -on -one lessons or in a class and in-person lessons. So those are pretty good. Oh, P-Flight, you're always impromptu, right? Do you even have a schedule that you follow at all? I know it's nice when you do have a schedule. Hey, Mark, you rich chess. How are you? Let me give you a little bit of uh, love here. Is it that way? I think it's that way. No, I don't know. I'm going to have to check. Why am I thinking it should be one word? Let me try it as one word and see if it works. It does. It is one word. Hey, bro, Um, we need to also f make sure your volume's sounding good. So if you want to uh, give me a little volume check. Mic check, mic check. One, two, three. Check. One, two, three. Thank you, sir. I think that did it. So hopefully you guys can hear him. Like I said, we're going to be doing a little bit of a lesson. So howdy, Mark. Uh, glad you could be here. And uh, we are going to be doing some Dutch defenses. But first, but first, I will invite you. Actually, I, I'm sure you're already a member and I'm wrong. So there you go. I, I said I was sure and I feel bad because I'm, I'm wrong. So let me add you to the study. Okay, now you are added to the study. And so if you go to studies you contribute to, you guys know I love using Lee Chess because of this. Studies you contribute to, and you're looking for one called End Games. Simple and straightforward End Games. Ooh, I need some music. Okay, we gotta turn it down a little bit. All right, here we go. So did you join me in that yet? Who are you talking to? You, my brother. Who else would I oh. be asking if you've joined me in the study? You. I did not realize you were talking to me. Yes. Sorry. Yes, I added you Sometimes to the you study. Talk. Sometimes you talk to your streamer, so I wasn't... Uh... You mean the viewers? Uh, I'm sorry, the viewers. You're streaming the streamer. The viewers. Hey, guys, I'm working on my new emotes. I might even share them. You can... Maybe give me your, your opinion on my emotes I'm working on. But meantime, um, if you would go to the studies you can uh, you contribute to. Okay. And um, you should find one called Endgames. Meantime, mm -hmm. I will go ahead and see if I can pull up for everybody. Um, the I'm working on five emotes for followers, and I might and I still needed a new one for uh, level three tier. So. Endgames for chess class. No, it's just, just the end games. Ah, found it. Just looking for end games. Oh, and I do need to add, definitely need to add um, our design. Hmm, our design for the new, for our new, um, blah, 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 for our new uh, streamers team. I wanted to show you guys that. So I need to add that sometime soon. All right, so you're in the uh, chapter with me now? Yes. All right, you should be on chapter 20. Uh, yeah. Okay, white's going this way. White to move quickly. Where does white go? Uh, where does white go? White goes to... Uh, go ahead and I move it, get... if you like. Oh, Hello, okay. darkness, my old hey, Mark, you're using uh, Chess Wizards music, and I'm glad to hear it because it wasn't working at the end of my last stream. All right, very good. What's wrong with going over here? Does that work also? Uh, I... Uh, let's see. I think it works. Uh, I think it does work. I, it's the magic position, so I'm assuming it works on both sides. So I think it would work either way. Okay. 
Go ahead. I think. Okay, my bad. Sorry, my bad. My total bad. Go ahead. My fault. I think it's my fault. Nice music. That was my fault, by the way. Sorry. I see what you did there. I like my first move better. H6 is better. Yes, H6 is the right answer. So okay. the correct answer is this way. Um, mm -hmm. If you go the other way, you, you don't, you are threatened in, you're threatening to get into um, stalemate, mm -hmm. but it doesn't have to be. Right. Right? Oh, actually, again, I did it wrong again, right? Yeah. 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 Is that stalemate? Yeah. And this is stalemate. Yeah, but, well, I, I, wouldn't have, I wouldn't have pushed the pawn, I would have stepped back. Alright, so then you get to try it again. Got it. Yep. Easy breezy. Alright, how about this one? White to move. White's going this way, black's going this way. What's the outcome? How do you make it happen? Um, quick end game review, guys. I could see, I could see a stalemate real quick, um, I think. Excuse me? You could see stalemate real quick? <laughs> I think so. Are Check, you on the right page? page? Are you on there. chapter 19? I'm on 19. Yeah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking I see stomach. If I push and the real pawn. Real quick. If I push the pawn, takes, king, uh, king comes back. Yeah, then you have to step back. Okay. Um, hmm. And I'm three steps. I'm four away. Okay. You said go first, so I'm gonna go first. Okay, what hap what what would happen if I do this? Now don't move anything. Figure out the end in this case. Right. Um, so I would push, you'd push. I'm three squares away, you're three and squares away. You can draw away. arrows, just don't move the pieces. Okay. Yeah, you're doing it for me now. Yes. Okay, Queen. then what? Queen, and I got the queen first. The question is, can I check when the queen saved the game? Um, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Don't draw on over the board. Board. Nobody likes it when you write on their board. Yeah. yeah. My queen here, and the question becomes. By the way, you can draw things. Uh, I can see it. And this okay, is one yeah, of the reasons well, why I like you not to draw arrows and not to move pieces is because you can't do it in over the board, right? So, uh, and, so and this young man is is training for over the board tournaments. Yeah. Okay. So, so now the king can't, has to go back to one of these three squares and then the queen just comes over and wins the queen behind it. Very good. Very good. So, guys, did you catch that? If you queen, white queens, black queens immediately afterwards, white comes here, threatens the king, opposition says the king has to step back, and once the king steps back, the queen gets to move over here, skewering, skewering, not forking, not pinning, skewering the king to the queen. The king moves, you win the queen, and then the game should be easy. All right, good move here then. Your move is white. Figure it out. I think I like pushing the pawn because past pawns want to be pushed. Past pawns do like to be pushed. Uh, but I'm. Um... Contemplating. Uh, yeah, my gut's telling me to push the pawn. Then do it. Hmm. If if I push. 
King, King comes here. Right click is not working for me. There we go. Um, I have to go here. Pawn's already here. Uh, he goes in front and then turns the pawn away and we wind up with a draw. Because I'd have to go chase it if I can get it. I don't know if I, yeah, I think I should be able to. Uh, does it wind up? Do I? If I come behind now, does that help? Yeah, I feel like I feel like the right move is here. Do you? Mm. I think so. I mean, again, I could. Can... Yeah, I mean, I could just, I could assure myself of a draw. Yeah, but you had a win. No, that's what I was trying to figure out. Did I actually have a win? You did last time when I pushed the pawn, right? Yeah. So you still should have a win. And the way you can assure that you have a win is if you can queen before a black, you have the chances to win, right? You can always oh, make a draw that. after that. If you both have queens, you can still make a draw after that if you have to. But yeah, if you can queen before black, you have the winning chances. And going here does not help you with queening. There you go. Yeah. Good move. And you win. Forced okay. win. Right? This doesn't matter. Okay. You queen and then you chase and you yeah. get the pawn back. Easy, right? Yep. Easy breezy. Easy stuff. Easy stuff. How about this one? Just for fun, one more. But am I black? Yeah, don't look at the answer, by the way. I won't. Yeah, you're black and white just moved there. White just took that pawn. I don't see where, but that's okay. I'm not looking at where it went. You're not on 18? You should have seen that much. I'm on 18, but I can't tell what the last move was. It doesn't highlight for me. I'm just seeing the board set up. I don't know what you're seeing then. Oh, because I'm not synced, because I went to preview mode. My fault. There you go. Now it's Black's oh. move. Okay. Oh, I, I dropped out of sync. My fault. Not to worry. Uh... Hmm. My Superman glasses. There we go. Now I feel like Clark Kent. Uh, I feel like that's the right move. I told you I didn't look. Um, well, uh, I don't know if this helps. Let's take. Good try. Okay. And if you want, we can show you why, right? I mean, now what do you do? Remember, you're down two pawns. Oh. Oh, yeah, I am. Yeah, you're, so it's the first thing you're always supposed to do is assess the position. Okay. Not only in so, puzzles, but in any time in a game where you feel like, you know, it's a win or lose proposition going on, you need to yeah. assess the position to decide on what you're going to do. Okay, two pawns down. Uh, I, I like. Yes, this. thank you, P Flight. I, I I need that quote. Thank you. I'm going to copy that quote right now what and put quote? it into a file. He said, um, "Crush your enemies, see them driven before you, and hear the lamentations of the mouse slips." <laughs> It's a quote from, uh, it's gonna be a quote from P Flight. Wow. So I, I gotta I gotta throw that uh, somewhere in my, uh, I gotta create a document and throw that in there somewhere. Cause that's like, that's like gold right there, man. That's gold. 
I had another one the other day. I don't remember what it was, but I like this one. This one was good. Yeah, the other question is, do I try and save the pawn? Yeah, that's, a, that's a good question. Well, this is threatening the rook. Yeah, okay, okay. Both rooks can line up behind the, the G pawn. And then it'll be gone for sure. I don't know if there's any way to save that pawn anyway. There you go. We give pre flight credit for that, and we're good to go. Oh, okay, pushing up here now. So, um, in most situations, right? The win mm -hmm. is usually going to be a forced win. So you have okay. to look for forcing moves to start with because this move, while it's forcing and chasing the rook, you know, mm -hmm. he goes here and he threatens that. Right. And right. He could even go here and threaten your king and you could take here, but then you're kind of like trapped up here. So it's a four, I'd say, okay, I'll accept it's a forcing type move, mm -hmm. but not good enough. All right. Um, that's a good one though thank you I gotta add some of my own quotes I'm not sure I like this one the most but let's you know. what about that one yeah, that's kind of forcing, right? He just takes. All right. Nope. This is. A, I love this one, by the way. I think this one's Clear. a very beautiful thing. Beautiful forcing. He's telling me. It's this beautiful, is beautiful, and it's, and it's forcing. forcing. Beautiful and it's forcing. Yeah, you guys can uh, guess too in the in the uh, chat. Is it? Nah, this doesn't make sense. Is it? He's not looking at chat. So if you mm -hmm. want to guess. Yeah. Nope. In mm. fact, if you want to put on preview, you see the preview eye at the bottom? Mm, yeah. Click on that. Now, we won't be able to see what you do, but it'll it'll tell you when you're wrong. <laughs> I forgot I won't be able to see your choices. Mm -hmm. I No. The only eye I see is his optional on-demand hint for player. Okay, never mind. Just keep going. Oh, on the bottom there. Need help get the tour? No, that's no, not true. No, don't do that. Yeah, the, the I is, should say preview next to it, but I don't want you to do it in preview. Ah, oh, the, 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 when you say I, you mean the E-Y-E. -E. Yes, but if you do that, then we ah. can't see it. So, never mind. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, you didn't like that. You didn't like that. Um, I'm going to change your picture. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, hold on, hold on. No, I'll yeah. hold on. I'm just going to edit your picture. Take. There. Go back. There, take. Yeah, take. You have to go. Let's see. No, not this one. No, this one. Oh, oh, it's going to it. Um. Yes, here. this is a puzzle moment. I like to you give him some endgame warm-ups before we start looking at Dutch defenses. You have to take. I come back with the other rook. You just simply move away. No, it doesn't win anything. Uh, just come out. How depressing uh, would it be to play this game and miss a win? The only thing that even looks remotely possible, like forcing, is this. Okay, well, you know, check it out like you did the other one. See what happens. All right, so he has to take check comes back. Well, that did not change the situation, did it? No, it didn't. All I did was I lost my rook, so that didn't help. That did not help. This uh, threatens to get a queen. Oh, that might be it. Yeah. 
No, you have to answer the threat to the queen. King can't come over. You've got to move one of the rooks to stop the queening. And at the same time, oh yeah, I like that. Okay. Yeah, because no matter which rook comes over to try and stop the queen, you still come back here, which happens right here with Nice. Is that beautiful? Yeah. So it's a double attack at this point, right? You have two threats, queening and checkmating. He cannot right. stop both threats. Right. He could chase your king around a little bit, but it won't change the situation. Yeah, I mean, pretty much the only thing white could do to prevent checkmate is step up. Or he can move a rook over to stop check. Oh, no, because the queen coming down will... No, that wouldn't. I mean, he could come here, let you queen, and then step up. Uh, yeah, that's true. And he could even throw in some checks and see if he can get you to run around. And yeah. But whenever his checks run out, you're going to get a queen or checkmate. Yeah. Sweetness, huh? Yeah, no, very nice. I, I love that one. I love that very one. Very nice. When you said it was forcing is what kind of gave me the hint. Oh, yes. Yes. Many times they are, Matt, right? I mean, that's the answer many times. All right. Mm -hmm. um, let's go look at, you want to look at some games. And I'm yeah. all game for looking at some more of our games. So I will take us to our study on the Dutch. And I will invite you to it. So you can... Uh, actually draw arrows and give us your thoughts because we're going to do like we do when we do it with everyone else and we're going to give you the opportunity to oh you already are a member so it says come on over to dutch theory with me okay and we'll give you an opportunity to spot um the right moves that should be made and that'll give you uh hopefully get you in the mood for dutch play and then maybe we'll do a little dutch tournament so you could play a lot of Dutch games. I am at Dutch Theory. It says Chapter 3 right now. That's the first one. Yeah, that's fine. Um, you'll get dragged along, hopefully. I gotta. I have to make this as we go, so give me one sec. Oh, okay. All right, this one's going to be Collins versus Hurst, guys. Collins versus Hurst. And it's 1949. So, guys, uh, this is definitely not a scheduled uh, appointment. But we, we um, since it was, I, I usually teach a class with my brother, usually uh, attends the class on Thursday nights. It's in real life via Zoom, so it's not real life. Uh, but usually we have four or five people and I don't wanna, I don't wanna make them all be on Zoom, on, on stream or anything. But since we had a night where it's just he and I, we thought, well, might as well share with the rest of you guys so you can also enjoy it with us. Right? Yeah, if nobody shows up, that would, wouldn't matter because I have, we're going to be doing our lesson. All right, so here we are, 1949, and we have, of course, a Dutch defense. So this one, like one of the other, oh, am I doing the right one? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, you don't know if I'm doing the right one. Yes, yeah. I'm doing the right I one. Could, I could go get my book, but. Oh, that's true. You have this now. But this is another time when we get to the Dutch through transposition, mm -hmm. right? It doesn't have to start off with what you would imagine. It gets there right. through transposition, guys. And there which I are. like, which I like because um, I, we talked before about um, if you play the F6, F5 right away, then white could play the potentially annoying bishop. Right, which you would have to study and learn that variation. Yeah, it leads to double pawns, like you said. And, yep, so uh, you, yeah, I mean, it could, right, at a minimum. Uh, yep. You can do this, though, by the way. Mm hmm. You just have to be careful when you do this one, and he does this one, or he does this one, you can't take the bishop. Uh, I can't take the bishop because you're looking at checkmate. <laughs> <laughs> Yipper. And so even back here on this move, mm. you can't take the bishop. Still looking at checkmate. Right. You can't take here and you can't take the bishop. Right. So 
there is variations where you don't have to get the knight and double your pawns, but you have to know this is possible <laughs> and mm -hmm. you need to avoid mm -hmm. uh, being checkmated. Yeah. Okay, but yeah, so transpositions are fun. All right, so we transposition into the Dutch defense. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to try to keep up with my uh, book because I always mess this up. So uh, white plays another knight, developing another knight, and black finally develops a piece. We know we like it when we develop pieces, but he's mm -hmm. a little slow on that. And he gets to Fianchetto his kingside bishop, which is quite normal. And now mm -hmm. what is this? What kind of uh, Dutch is this called? Stonewall. Stonewall Dutch. Very good. Stonewall. Um, I'm not overly concerned about you knowing the names, but it's fun. Okay. It's, it's a nice All thing, right. you know, to make sure you do know the names. Just for fun. What would you do here as black now, since you're a Dutch player? Um, and you played the Stonewall, at least you know of the Stonewall. What's the yeah. What's the most common King, move? King's bishop to queen three. Yeah, and you, by the way, you can use new notation. Bishop to queen three. Uh, oh, okay, yeah. Uh, bishop to d6. Yeah, you might as well, I mean, I mean, unless you were like me and you were keeping score way back when we were kids, I don't think you did too much, did you? Are you uh, yeah, are, I did. Are you used to the bit. old notation more than the yeah. uh, algebraic? I, I, that's what I knew first. Yeah, sure. Oh, okay, so you still are you still in that mode, or do you got? No, no, no. I'm, 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 I'm up to date now. Okay, me too. Uh, it took me a I'm, long I'm, time. I'm oh. bilingual. I could do either way. I was oh, like, nice, nice. I was one of those that would have stick in the mud. I didn't want to move for, off of uh, the old way. All right. What you got now? Well, I say I, I look at that and I say, well, bishop takes bishop, bishop takes f4, prize open the king side, assuming, you know, if he had already castled, then I, that would be great because very good. Have to if keep. he had already castled, doubling right. those pawns and opening up the g file might not be a bad idea. Right. But he hasn't castled. Correct, and that would be effectively giving away my good bishop at this point. Uh, so I'm thinking either castle or develop a piece, but you gotta be careful because you can't develop the knight to d7 because you simply drop the bishop and um, you can't develop the bishop to d7 because you drop the bishop. Very good. So, so what um, did you decide? Um, I'd say castle, yeah. Okay, now same, same question, same question mark. Um, hey, all right, Chester is just back on his laptop. Again. Welcome. So, there's a poor Typically, tree think... in behind this 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 backdrop. There's a tree, and my wife moved indoors. And the poor thing, the leaves are just falling off because it knows it's fall, I guess. It and it sounds sad when I hear a leaf fall down and hit the ground, and I'm like, oh man. And I look at it. it looks like a Charlie Brown Christmas tree. Knight to e4. You like knight to e4, which is also common, right? We do that a lot. Yeah. Oh, I'm right. thinking knight to e4. I got it. I'm still have to. Uh, knight to e4 also puts another piece of protection on the bishop that's on on d6, uh, because I know from my normal play in the Dutch, I want to slide the queen potentially over to e8, and then onto the h file. Um, and I will say, I will say that's good because that is what we normally work with. I'm okay even if you do this and then and then try to make. Oh, that's true. Now now he's he's now he has castled. Yeah. Right, so. so that's also feasible. But you are also yeah. over here. So I mean, after he takes back, if he moves his king over, he'll be able to take advantage of that file mm. faster than you will. Right. Yeah. You realize that. Mm, yeah. He'll be yeah, able to plop, plop his knight in here with two pawns protecting it. Mm -hmm. He'll be able to slide his king over. And he'll be able to get that king. He'll be able to take advantage of that file probably before you will. Mm. All right. This is what our master Hurst played. Mm. Uh, no, it isn't. No, it isn't. My, I lied. Okay. He did what you said. Oh. All right. 
He played knight to king five. His opponent played queen to bishop two, not wanting to take and open up the file and right and then right. right if he were to have taken think about it if he were to have taken now the knight yeah, has to move right. and he yeah. could move there i guess and you could say okay let's trade him and if the knight went any place else like say here then you could because then you'd win a pawn yeah and this is looking and get and get that open file fast right right so anyway he played queen to bishop two or queen to C2. Okay. Mm -hmm. What do you think uh, Black does? Well, I've seen in some games Black exchanges the knights. Uh, I remember seeing that somewhere along the line in one of the games that I looked at or one of the studies I was doing. Um, if you take the bishop again now pawn takes back assuming pawn takes back uh, you know i'm thinking yeah, yeah i want to release the queen but right now it's stuck it's stuck protecting the bishop well no the knight can hold it but if i move the queen the knight takes knight i'd have to take bishop takes bishop before Taking off the knight with a pawn. Oh, I don't know. He's a master. I'm not. Uh, I just know I can't. My my I'll knight and out. my he does take my it. knight and my bishop. My knight and my bishop are both are both stuck right now. So I'll help you out. He does take. Okay. Um, I have no problem with that because I was thinking about that before. And now so. what? Uh -huh. Give me three candidate moves. Okay. Um, candidate moves. Ah, nice chess wizard. No, nope, but that's not what happened. And chess wizard okay. said you could trade knights probably before we traded bishops, maybe. I'm thinking I mean, he takes um, C4, but eh, queen lift, could just lift take. The rook, lift the rook to F6 and then prepare to slide it over. Okay, that's a candidate move. I like that, a candidate move. Um, develop the knight or the bishop that have still not gone anywhere yet. Okay. One of those to get them into the game. Slide Here? the queen. Slide the queen to. Oh, where are you developing them to? You didn't give me specifics. Oh, sorry. Well, the bishop only has one square. It can go to. Very so, good. Uh, knight has two squares. It can go to, but. Uh, do I like either of those squares, knights in the rim or dim? Then threatens, you can then push to threaten the queen, but if he prophylactically pushes the uh, A pawn, you really have no squares for that to go to, except to reposition it back to, to C7, uh, which doesn't really have any scope from there because everything's blocked, everything's still boxed in. Okay. So, so that candidate seems move, like a way. Candidate move. Queen to, and queen to e8. Candidate move, and you didn't and say, maybe. but since you said you didn't like that square, I figured you mean this one also. Yeah. Good. Knight uh, to queen two is one. what he played. Okay. All right. Played uh, king yeah. to rook one. Like I told you, he's going to try to take yeah. advantage of the file, and I did not look ahead. Okay. So, you want me to tell you what happened next? Hmm. Well, see, I thought that the the knight to d7 would lead to knight to f6. Uh, I'm, I'm going three moves ahead. Exchange knights, and then then the black knight can come back into that square with you know with tempo against the queen, which would probably be the piece that probably be the piece that took back. Okay. But not not necessarily the piece, but that's a long way to get home. These are supposed to be quick games, so I'm thinking there's something else that's going on here. I will um, tell you that you have you have listed this move in your candidates before. Oh, okay. So the rook lift? It is the, the rook queen. lift. Okay. It is the rook lift. One of the things I like, by the way, if he moves over here first, you just say checkmate. 
That's a great call. I did. I was eyeing that square, but I said, "Oh, the rook's gonna hold it." So, isn't that pretty? But, I mean, that's like, well, you just checkmated yourself. And then the other that's... thought is that we were talking about this the other day on stream that we want to get that king over here so bad that we'll do, you know, we'll sacrifice stuff. We ended up playing mm -hmm. a rook here in one of the games in the Dutch. Yep. Why? To yep. get that king over here where we can corral him really well. So, yep, it was a rook lift. Rook to okay. um, bishop three. We get a pawn to king three. So now the queen is hitting the pawn, so the rook can now move. Good. Got All it. Right? All right. Okay. Yep. What would you do now for black? Hmm. I'm thinking alignment. Um, Beautiful. So, yeah. Rook to rook three, exactly. Okay, rook to king knight one. Now that he's figures he's protecting, he's going to go alignment also. Right. Notice you both have alignment. Yes. Okay. Um, and you both only have a pawn in between, so that's pretty interesting. But anyway, mm. uh, rook to rook three, rook to king knight one. Um... What do you want to do now? I'll let you find a move. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like White might be aiming for that eventually. I agree, Chess Wizard. I like the the smothered mate, but you got the you got two pawns there that would that are that are holding g6. You got the queen that's holding uh, f. I'm sorry, F2, not a G6, I'm a G3. So it'd be nice if we can actually remove the defender. That'd be fun. Uh, um, removing the defender would be fun. I just don't know how we might do that. Um, well, knight takes knight, might remove the defender, but of course, then you're also removing the piece that had the threat. You have to reposition the other knight, so. Very good, Chess Wizard, you're right. Uh, let's see. Hey, TK, thank you for the raid. My goodness, TK, thank you for the raid, my friend. Yes. How are you? Say, we, we're we we are doing an impromptu. I'm never on on Thursday nights because I teach a real life class. But my real life class was down to one student tonight. So we said, you know, let's do it as a stream. So thank you, TK. We'll, we'll try it. So guys, we do ch uh, chess training here. We teach, we help, we coach. We're all about helping people get better at chess. That's 90% of what you'll see on my stream, if you guys are new. And uh, so right now we are looking at one of the master games, one of the thousand best short games of chess. This game happens to be between two masters back in 1949. But we are today trying to figure out what the best moves are that they made and see how well we can do with guesses. So, any idea? Um, uh, queen to e8 is what's jumping out at me. Okay, and that's a good candidate. Give me another one. I want at least for you to have the move the guy made should be one of the candidates you find. Mm. Right? That's what we're hoping for. Because then that's half the battle. Then later, then later you can look at, okay, what comes next, right? What can I do next? Chess Wizard, mm -hmm. I think you just have to click on the channel points because they're all channel point uh, sound rewards. And then you should be able to see all of the sound effects. And some others. I have other things besides sound effects. Uh, the knight on d7 to f6. Setting up that knight exchange and then repositioning the... Uh, so. so you said this one? Yeah, this that one. one. Okay, this one? So we have yeah. two candidate moves. Okay. And you might not say there's, you don't see anything else that's really jumping out at you. I'm okay with that too. Okay. He played knight to f6. Okay. Oh, I get so you, Chess Wizard. 
I would have just typed, we have sounds for channel points, but yeah, that's cool. Alright, um, and his opponent did play knight to king five. Now, there is a whole nother line if the knight goes here, but we won't do that one yet. We'll, we'll finish this one out first. Alright, so what do you want for black? Hmm. Again, you can give me three candidates. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> and and chat, you 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 should be guessing too. Feel free to participate. Tell me what you think Black should do, chat. Whatever you want. Hmm. Uh. Three candidate moves, okay. Wow, that's interesting. I like that, Chess Wizard. We should look at that after this. We should definitely look at that after this. Yeah. Are you, you were hoping to get something in there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the knight to d4 to... he just takes with the knight. Yeah. I'm looking to see if there's a, a great... Did you say d4 or g4? No, I don't worry about it. I was talking to, to Chess Wizard. Was looking at a combination that doesn't quite work. Yeah, I was. I was. I might be looking at the same thing because I was thinking, do you have a um, a brilliant sacrifice rook taking? Ah, H2, that's the one P flight was just wondering about. H two, yeah. So rook takes H two. King yeah, has to take. This is forced. But then that's what? forced. King has to take. Uh, knight. Uh, to G for check. Uh, knight takes knight, and then queen to H four. Could be well, it's definitely not mate because the bishop could step uh, to step in between. But the bishop could come. Uh, so I was looking at that. I don't know if it works though, right? I don't think it works. Uh, Chess was sort of thinking it might. P Flight was hoping it might. But yeah. I think, and if we did it all on our heads, we take, yeah. we take, we get the check, knight takes, queen comes here with check, bishop blocks, right. pawn takes right. knight, right? Yeah. Pawn takes knight, but then rook takes pawn. Yep. Yeah. And I think and that, you're done. We still, have that, we still have that other knight there though, right? Uh, this knight is still here, yes. And with the bishop moving, the queen is now hitting hitting on the h2 square also, where the king is currently sitting. Is there a move there that we're not seeing? Nothing hey, going? Montague! 004. Next, he takes, he takes. Rook takes. He's also a streamer. Check him out. Yeah, can't do that. That, would, that. It felt like it might be there. Okay. Hey, Montague, you need to find a streamer and uh, with a nickname of Q. My pleasure, mi amigo. Right oh, P Fly, I, I told you we need to give you a shout out. Did I already do that? I don't remember. I said I want to wait. So, so yeah, I don't think rook okay. takes works. But I like it that what you were about, looking at it. Huh? What a, well, what about, um, so right now the the pawn on h2 is pinned. What about now knight to g6, g3? Okay, pawn Check. takes you. Forces the pawn take. Then do the rook take. Uh huh. King takes. King, King steps up. Knight. Knight takes. Knight takes back. Queen comes in. Uh, check. Can the bishop save it? Can the bishop still step in? King's there. Queen's there. Well, where's and what do we have on? Uh, it's a white pawn. 
No, that won't work now. The queen can't come because the white pawn is sitting on um, G3. That's true. The, the queen, the pawn is here now to take your queen. Right. right. Very so good. You got to remember the changes. Very good. All in your right. head. I'm impressed. That won't work. You just need to play slower games. You, you'll do great. <laughs> I'm still not finding the move, though. Okay, so give me three candidates. Uh, don't, okay. If, queen. if you can't make the rook take pawn, then then don't force it. Yeah. Um, so three candidates. I got to watch out for the knight that's now sitting there. Uh, so queen to e8, still a candidate move. Yes, chess anyway. wizard, you're right, but yeah, he doesn't even have to, right? And I, I wanted him to take chess wizard because otherwise you drop this pawn with a check. So chess wizard was saying that after rook takes, king takes, knight yeah. goes here, check. He said, well, you don't even have to do that. The king can go to h3 and, and stop the queen from coming in. But then, yeah, but then chess wizard, he gets to take the f2 pawn with check. And that's probably but not too much fun. But then the queen, oh, queen can't take because it's covered by the knight, the other yeah. knight. Yep. Yeah, and that's what I was originally looking at. If if knight to if the knight that's on f six goes to check, I'm um, sorry, goes to g. Yeah, only one can go there right now. Goes to g four. Uh huh. Then I would have two knights hitting the f two square. Yep. But but the the knight would probably drop to the other knight, the knight that's now been repositioned to e five. So. Well, that oh, is the move, by the way. Oh, okay. All right. That Feeling is the good. move. And yes, queen to mm -hmm. e8, I would have taken as a definitely a candidate move. Montauk says this is very thematic in the Dutch, and I totally agree. Yep. Uh, yep. We both play the... Oh, by the way, Montauk, um, who is uh, 004. He's uh, Agent 004. His name is Bird. Henry Bird. He uh, plays the birds, and he plays the Dutch. So he's a he's a fellow uh, F four F five player. Or... Ah, oh, okay, gotcha. All right. Remember, so, I don't, I'm not seeing the stream, so I thank you. I, yeah, I, I, I just t I didn't do anything on the stream for you to see except for me talking. But yes, okay. yes. All right. So he played knight, um, knight to knight five. He did. And wow. then okay. he played knight takes knight. Okay, which we thought. What do you What do you anticipate? What do you want? I thought queen to h. Now? Um, yeah, maybe now. Okay, why doesn't that work? Uh, Baird. Henry. Oh, he just pushes the pawn. Shaky, right? not stirred. No, he can't just push the pawn. He's not pushing the pawn. He's going to take your no. rook. Oh, yeah. That too. And you might say, yeah, but then I get to take here, and he takes back, and I win his queen. Except for one small problem. You're in check with the mm. rook move. Yes, his move rook. is check. So after right. he takes with check, then he could just clear off your knight, and you're done. Yeah. So, All right. So, sounds like, got to take with like the pawn, right? right? Yep, yep. All I right. think. Bishop takes knight. He says, I'm getting rid of these knights. He does not like these knights. Mm. All right. Your turn. Hmm. Okay. Again, feels like time for a brilliant sacrifice. Um, maybe. Yeah. Rook takes h2. Check. I think works. This is forced. Right. Queen to h4. This then is queen forced. To, queen, to, queen to h3 mate. And you are correct. And that's called a dovetail, I believe. Beautifully done. Wow. So I was close. I actually had... Had some of that yeah, lined up. And there. Montague had it, and then uh, P Flight confirms my my uh, call on the dovetail mate. So do you like that? I like it. The I mean the key move for White was the White shouldn't have taken the you know, moved the bishop away. 
Yeah, taking this night thinking that he's clearing ground. But even then, you know, I don't know. From here, what do you want him to do? You could take with the knight if you wanted to, but then what? He probably needs to get the rook out of his way. <laughs> well, this this was probably the mistake. His king has no squares. Yeah. Because pretty much whatever he does, right? Mm. Take that. Oh. Can't you do that no matter what he does? Uh, put the bishop in front. Check. Mate. 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 Sweet. Yeah. So, yeah, I agree. Yeah. Chester says, move the rook. Move the rook. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you have to, right? You have to move the rook. You, you yeah. can't waste a move right now. You're about to get mated because that king has no squares. So that rook has to run, like, right away. And where do you want to go, Chess Wizard, right? I mean, I don't know. Let's say you went as far away as you can to give yourself space. Because I'm, I'm worried if you go here, you might not have gone far enough. But regardless, so... And now you can come here, right? Because he has no chance of saving that pawn now, right? And... So we can't go here because now he's in, now he's dead meat again, right? Because that's still checkmate. Okay, so we got to move the rook even further. Let's say the rook goes there. You still come in here, going to win the pawn, and check. And what if, if you slides, push the pawn first? Push the pawn first. Oh, then we get to take it. Oh, yeah, yeah, the other pawn. Yep. That's like give me tempos, thank you. Yeah. And, and by the way, um, also. He, he does have the check where he wins the rook. No, the queen. Oh, yeah, that's right. The queen is holding it, but the queen can't help it. Yeah. And now the bishop could say, ha, I'll just step away. That's possible. That might be more interesting, more, more possibility of living. Mm. And then you take, and then he takes with the knight, and then we could see what might happen. Mm. But, yeah, this is uh, very tricky. Right? I mean, let's say let's say he takes, you take, and even if he takes, then I see, I see right now mate threats again. Yeah. And what do you want him to do about this one? I think he's got to bring the rook back now. Oh, there. I was going to say bring the rook back. And if he brings the rook back, how would you proceed, guys? Well, what you just did, I think. Queen yeah, I think to... this still works, right? Yeah, I think so. I don't know, maybe it doesn't. Maybe that, that holds. I don't know, that might hold. So yeah, if the rook comes back, that'd be interesting. Would have liked to have kept him out of there. But I feel like this is correct. Now he could have he could have went here. Because then you still can't go here. And that way, on this one, he could actually threaten the rook. But then you could get here. Anyway, it, we could go on for a while. Let's go back, though. Let's go back to the move where I told you that um, on move 14, right? We said, what happens if he, if he didn't go here? And um, 14 for white, yes. So on knight... To king knight five, how does black win? He might even have a nicer win in this case. See if you could find the win here, guys. What can you find here for black? Knight takes... Queen has to take. Other, uh, ooh. Knight takes um, F2 check. Queen takes. Rook takes H2 check. Knight to G. 
King comes out, you take the queen, he takes your knight, you've lost rook, and two knights, you've got, you gained the queen and a pawn. I don't know, it doesn't feel, it like, feels almost even, but you still have the queen. Very good, it's not good enough. So what else could you do? You got this far. You sacked the knight. Ah, um... Hmm. So when, you, when to, in doubt, check reversing to, the order. Right, I was going to say knight to g4. Yes, chess wizard, I know, I know. And very good, chess wizard. Reverse the order. So now what does white do? He's got to prevent knight. So it's the only thing that looks right is queen to g yeah, you, you can't afford to move the bishop and stuff because then you take with check and you're not getting the rook and you're not even getting this knight for the queen, right? Okay, so before you got two knights and a rook, that's not as good. You might still be winning. It might be. Okay, but this is better. So queen to g3, and then what? Yes, P flight. Yes, P flight. Is that not a gorgeous thing? This is even prettier than the main line. But uh, the main line okay. was what happened in the Got game. Got it. Got it. Rook takes H2. Yes. Queen takes. Has to. Knight to F2 mate. <laughs> Woo! That would have been so pretty. That would have been so pretty. That is a beauty. That's why I like looking at these games. I got goosebumps, guys, going over this game. That gave me goosebumps. That was so pretty. That's like looking at a piece of artwork in the museum and saying, wow, that's so gorgeous. Uh, seriously, that was, that was, that is beautiful. That's worth the price of admission, guys. That's when you go to the tournament, you watch a game, and you go, oh my gosh, I just saw... Art, I just saw a beautiful piece of artwork being created on the chessboard. That would have been so pretty. Oh my goodness. All right, how about one more and then we'll have a little Dutch tournament? Yeah, sure. All right, let's do it. Let's do another one and then we can do a Dutch tournament probably. All right, um, now this one is Dr. Tarash, who is like a very strong player, right? We know that. Book writer, master of the time. I don't remember if he made. I don't remember if he was ever world champ. Do you? I can't remember if he was ever world champion. Well, supposedly he was young at this time. It's back in 1883. All right, we start off with an English. And black, as we've discussed before, right, my brother, we have discussed that you could play the Dutch against any non pawn to king four opening. Right. Okay, Anything just patience. Than... Yep. Requires patience. And now you didn't even have the threat of the bishop, so he was able to do it right away. And we get our Dutch, and uh, he got out of the English, basically, and we're into a Dutch. All right. Pawn to king three, we're. De, I'm still developing. Pawn to queen knight three. Oh, sorry, queen knight three. See, I, I read it, but I didn't do it. So this is the ver variations I like for the Dutch. I'm not crazy about the Leningrad systems. So I'm glad to see we're, we're seeing another variation that I could feel I would play in a game. Mm -hmm. Bishop to queen three, always threatening, right? Trying to build up pressure on e4. That's how you play this opening, guys. And Black says, yep, and I'll try to stop the pressure on there. A lot of times, by the way, we see your opponent also fleeing shadow. So just, just a note for you guys that might consider playing the Dutch. But we get Bishop to Knight 2, we get Castle. And Bishop to Queen 3, murfing the pawn. Now this is the second Dutch we've looked at where the pawn has been murfed. So just... Also, something to keep in mind 
and and maybe don't show Murph because then he'll be like, see, my move was great. These masters are playing it. All right, we continue with development again. Uh, you know, this situation is not what I normally see in a Dutch. So let's see what happens here. Knight to bishop three, knight to bishop three. And we get the pawn to queen four because one, two. Is he planning on bringing somebody else? Because there's two, right? So uh, you push, he takes. Oh, you didn't use one of these, so you're okay. Take, 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 and he gets to keep. And he gets to keep it, right? So it's a trade, but he gets rid of, right? He gets rid of your Dutch pawn. So this move blocking the bishop looks like it's a mistake. You blocking the pawn. And by the way, you can't not take, well, not without doing something, because you're about to get forked also. So he's either going to be able to take or you're going to have to take because you can't, right? You're going to have to get out of the fork otherwise. So pawn to king four, and he does take. He takes back with the knight because, you know, bishops are better than knights. That's what everybody tells you. Um, and so here's the first time when we do something that you might say, well, what is he going to do now? He drops the bishop back. He decides to keep the bishop. And white trash says... I'm just dominating you. I'm just gonna control everything. I'm taking all the center squares. I'm gonna occupy all the center squares. I'm in a good mood today. Uh, but he does drop a pawn. He dropped a pawn. Like. Yeah, he dropped a pawn. Yeah, it looks like he drops a pawn. And Tarash dropping a pawn? Wow. So knight takes knight, check. Bishop takes knight. What do you think white's gonna do next? Mm. He's got mm. a piece in pre. He gave away. He gave away a free pawn. Yeah, P flight sees it. We in H four, H five, H five. In my YouTube video, it's too loud. Boy, this music's almost non-existent. But okay. There you go, buddy. Thank you, Chess Wizard. We in H five. Oh, really? Okay. So, yes, P flight gets it. He's aggressive. Okay, that's what I said. Thank you, Chess Wizard. All right, so Queen to Rook 5 check. Oh, you did? I'm sorry, I was listening to Chess Wizard. What does White do now? Let's say, well, Knight, knight takes Pawn. Or? Or. Oh, forgot the bishop was on there too. And he does take with the bishop. His opponent takes back. And mm. B. Richter is not a, not a chump. I mean, he's a master. But anyway, um, he's, he's not Tarash, right? Pawn takes bishop. He takes rook? No. Oh, no. Well, it's being held by the bishop. Sorry. Yes, queen takes pawn check. This is forced, right? Yeah. What now, brown cow? Well, you could go. You saw a little bit of this yesterday. Queen take uh, queen to f seven check. Chases the queen king out. But then you've got that knight still in trouble, right? Yeah. So instead, he plays here. Hmm. Now, find the move for black. And guys, of course, you're welcome to help. Find a move for black. Well, because we always talk about checks so i see a check with knight to f uh, knight to e2 okay king has to go to the corner okay uh king has to go to the corner let me think this through for a second king has to go to the corner can you force rook takes h2 
No, the knight just drops back and takes it. Doesn't have to be the king. P5, what do you mean? Knight take, B check two. Oh, bishop took. Yeah, the knight could take, but the bishop took. Okay, bishop took. And then chess were just thinking bishop to d2? Oh, if that other thing had happened. Okay. Okay. Mm. Why do you have to protect the bishop? I think you got to be aggressive here because you're, you're in trouble. Um, uh, okay, and P flight thinks knight here, king here, rook right. sack. That's what I said. I don't know if you can hear me. <laughs> I, I, I could. Okay. After reading yeah, but I... with the rook sack, I mean, uh, you have the knight that can drop back and take Correct. the rook sack. Right, so the king doesn't have to necessarily. And then you slide the queen over, but it doesn't really, oh, it protects the, you can then slide the queen to h8, pinning the knight, but I don't know if it gets you what you need. And I'm liking this beautiful diagonal too, though. Yeah, I was looking at that, but well, uh, no one has found the move that Richter played. Okay, um, well, I, I will. I'll show you, and it's a, and it gets a double X clam. That's it. Yeah, Queen to King Bishop one gets a well, double so I X said, clam. Right. So I said that, but. I said that's if I'm just going to protect the bishop. So okay, well, you protect. I the saw bishop. that, it's, but it's more than I don't know how that's. Let's find out. So if right, knight takes do... bishop, queen takes knight, right? right? Yeah. And bishop to knight five. And in the book, which you own now because you went and bought the book, love it when yeah. people buy books. By the way, um, Irving Chernev says. This should be the end of the story. Right? I mean, the queen is lost. This should be the end of the story. And he says, but there is a sequel. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So now. Uh, well, let's see. Now the knight's not there anymore. Yeah, so find the win for black now. Now the knight's not there anymore to protect the h2 square. So let's try. Let's, let's see what happens. If knight to e2 check king goes to the corner rook takes king has to take now doesn't have a choice slide the other rook over and that my friend is what you call checkmate not quite oh come on what do you mean it's not quite bishop to rook six. Oh, well, then you just take it off with the oh that way okay uh, then you take with the rook. Queen has to take back, and you take the queen. Yes? But queen takes queen. Okay. Let's see. All right. It's a beautiful... Uh, uh, <laughs> chess words is like, oh my God, it works. This is what happened in the game, folks. You got it all right. And you are almost perfect. Um, minor, minor, and I think it is minor. I don't think it matters, but it's minor. Now keep looking and tell me the right move. Oh, um, why not just do queen to h4? <laughs> yes. Okay. Yep. But you, I, but I, I don't see how this doesn't work either because that's forced now, and that's still mate. For those of you who are New York Ranger fans, Richter with the save. There you go. Yeah, beautiful, huh? So from this point where it looks like the game is over for Black, I mean, you, you've you pinned the queen, you're attacking it twice, 
The only thing I protect him is the king. You're thinking this game should be over. It is over. It is over. But not for not for white to win, but for black wins. It is over. Ladies and gentlemen, it's over. Don't get the queen, get the mate. Oh my goodness. What a game. What a game. Okay, guys, let's let's see how many uh duchess we have left. There aren't that many with black winning, but um, we have four more, more left. So it's well, your well, lesson, my you, Yesterday you said there were six. You did three yesterday and two today. I think no, 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 no. I said there were six left after yesterday. Oh. There were six left when we were done yesterday, and we just did two of the six. Okay. So there's four left. Up to you. Do you want to play some Dutch games and then we analyze, or do you want to um, look at one more? That's my lesson. I don't know what everybody else is saying because I'm not on the stream. And it doesn't I matter. It's your do, lesson. I want to do one more game like this. Yeah. Uh, Chess Wizard said 95% of players would have resigned in Black's position. Yeah. Yeah, right? Back maybe even before here. But most of them would have said, oh, game over. Okay, I'm out of here. Or they would have just thrown, thrown away pieces, you know? Yeah. Yeah. They had a win. Forced win. All right, let's let's do another one. The the man of the hour, the le, the student says, let's do another one. This one is definitely a little longer. We'll see how well Montague and you know the uh, Dutch theory. Oh wow, this is oh, I'm on pa I'm looking at page numbers instead of game numbers. That's it's my bad. Because these are all short games of chess, they fit a few games per page, two games at least per page. It seems like, or close to it. So is, is was this game the reason why Tarash doesn't play the Dutch? Uh, actually, uh, I have no clue because Tarash was white. No, I know. I was teasing. I'm just saying it wouldn't have anything to do with him playing the Dutch. No, I know, but the Tarash version. What is that? A Tarash is a version of the French is named after him. Oh yes, and I don't know if any other variations are, but I know yes, there's a Tarash variation of the Dutch. I mean, of the oh, uh, okay. French. French. All right, this one talks about Tartakova, but. Oh, in this delightful game, which Tartakova, Tartakawa, um, another famous guy, uh, called this an immortal game. So I, I don't want to tell you why he said that to not All right. jinx it for you. Bring this, it is on. A, this is a This is a well-known game that all of us that study chess... This is where, you know, you start saying you should know your history, right? This is the history that they're talking about. Not just about how, like, the Russians colluded to win and keep the championship back in the Cold War days because that was their way of showing superiority of mind. But that's part of history. Fisher going schizo, that's part of history. Um, but Fisher also dominating the field like no one thought could be possible at the time. It's part of history. But these, some of these immortal games are history that you guys should learn, should see, at least, at least be familiar with. No, immortal does not mean a draw or something. This will be a win. These are all wins, pretty much. I don't think there's any, there might be one, you know, swindle draw in here somewhere. All right, we get a straight out. Don't even let's hesitate. We're going right into the Dutch. We get the pawn to queen bishop four variation, no problem there. Still no bishop coming out and bothering you. And knight to queen bishop three. And Nordsdorf, Nadsdorf, Nadsdorf, um has a Sicilian variation named after him. Uh, but anyway, knight to queen bishop three. You know, these are the guys that they named openings after guys because they were like so special. Um, anyway, knight to, pawn to king three, knight to bishop three, make sure I don't get lost. Pawn to queen four. Hey, Stonewall. Sudakus. Yes, yes. Glad you can make it. Hey, somebody give that man a shout out. Okay, I'll do it for you. Thanks. My All my mods out there, they're, they're so jump right on it. Yeah, and you could even hear the mod, right? That was unique. Okay, all right. So I guess that doesn't go over right. Um, anyway, pawn to queen four. Pawn to king three. Hope you're watching, bro. This is your Dutch you wanted. That's it. I'm what watching. kind of Dutch is it? 
Stonewall. So what's interesting is I think every one of the ones we've seen with uh, exciting wins by Black in short games have been Stonewall Dutch. So don't be scared of playing the Stonewall. Montague, don't be scared. Greetings, Sudakus. All right, so pawn to bishop three. Bishop to queen three. Very familiar, right? This is, you could, I, I would say we could see ourselves getting into this game. This this looks a lot like the last, very, what we saw, yeah. right? Yes. All right, the other one, though, did go with the fianchetto variation, so it wasn't a stone wall on that one. Oh, but the first one was, Right, I think in was... fact, the last one, we even murfed the bishop and then brought it back and gave away the F pawn. It was like they did everything wrong possible. <laughs> mm. uh, uh, Sudaku should have been a mod. I don't know, but, you know, most most people don't like to shout out themselves. Oh, really? Only one command for VIPs? What is it? I gotta get you more commands, I guess. You could be a mod, Chess Wizard. I'd make you a mod in a heartbeat if you want it to be. You want to be a mod? Where do I change mods? Well, let's see. Somewhere in here. Uh, settings, maybe? Moderation? Yeah, here we go. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Where's my mods? Auto mod, yeah, rules block, yeah, channel, channel privileges, chat rules, urban unban requests, followers only modes, subscriber moderator tools in chat, <coughs> ban chatters. Oh, where is Okay, so where is it? It's not under settings. Cause I don't see it in my list of names. Uh, permitted terms and phrases, block terms, auto mod rule sets. Where is my mods? Ah, that's cool. Sudaku says he gives himself a shout out every time he sees himself in the mirror. <laughs> okay, I don't see my mod list. Ah, okay. All right, all right. That's an easier way. Thank you. We'll just make you a mod on the fly, right? All right. Let me do that. All right. You're, you ready for my Sudaku's imitation? Sure. All right, here it is. Like you just said, he puts some stuff in there, right? So it walks by. And it keeps going. <laughs> Did you see that, Sudaku's? I mean, <laughs> Sudaku's, you might as well, uh, yeah, Suda I don't know what to tell you, Sudaku's. You might want to clip that. <laughs> Not every day you get uh, somebody uh, imitating you or, or, yeah, doing their impression of you. So I did the sla slash shot. Uh, I did that, and it didn't even show up on this on the chat. So I'm taking it work, chess wizard. So test test it out when you get a chance. All right. So we have bishop to queen three, bishop to queen three. And again, this is a position that I think we could find ourselves in quite frequently. Mm -hmm. Castle, castle. Mm -hmm. Now. Reposition the knight to king two. I've seen this many times also. Okay. We develop our knight. Mm-hmm. Knight to king five. Oh, no. Knight to knight five. A little little switch up here. Going after the unprotected pawn. Mm-hmm. And, and with the uh, with, um, fork. Oh, yeah. Threatening a fork. All right. What do you want to do as black? Well, it feels like it should be the traditional, I'm going to say. <laughs> Chess Wizard says, wow, mod view is way different. Power, unlimited power. <laughs> Just remember, when you get all the power in the world in a tiny little living space. I'm thinking queen to e8, which is, a, I think, a, a common move. Thematic, common, even uh, as Montague would say. Common, a common practice in the Dutch. Or another candidate move might be uh, knight to b6, which allows the bishop to hold the pawn. Knight and to b6. Potentially, okay. And potentially reposition the knight eventually to... Uh, oh, that's true. I didn't see the fork. I was thinking, taking the pawn. Hmm. Yeah, you gotta good. watch out for those pesky forks. Yeah, those damn pawns keep getting in the hey, way. Hey, 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 um, watch your language. This is a family friendly stream. Oh, that's not a good word. Okay. No, 
My gosh, I, is my brother I gotta tell? You you know what? You're right. I'm sorry. All Darn my cool. other all my other streamer, all my other guests. <laughs> <laughs> it's my brother that gets me in trouble. Oh boy, I'm sorry. That's I okay. apologize. Okay. <laughs> Any any of the kids out there listening at home, I apologize. Uh, those darn pawns, those darn kids, those meddling kids. Um, yeah, I'm thinking queen over slides over is is a good move. The bit that knight that just came in there is unprotected, but if I don't do something about it, it's gonna fork my queen and rook soon. I was thinking moving the knight that's sitting on f. Um, F uh, F six, but yeah, could you do that with tempo? Could I do it with tempo? Sudaku says, "What about that?" Then he just dropped his pawn, Sudaku, and it would be forked. Still be forked, yeah. Monty, you finally even... found it. Not think you found it. That's good. Mm -hmm. So you said you want to move this. Can you move it with tempo? That's what I'm looking at, trying to see. Spicy. Uh, do English? Well, if you do want English to, if you want like to sack the if stuff. you want to sack the bishop, you might be able to. Bada bing! If king takes, knight goes here with check, and then the queen gets to take the knight. Yeah. And we've exposed the king's side, and what did we lose for that? Nothing. We gained a whole pawn by doing it. Correct. Bada boom, boom. as Chess Wizard says. Oh, and mm -hmm. I heard from Linear Stalk, who's a big, big, big Maurice Ashley fan, Irv, that Maurice Ashley is no longer streaming. Oh, no. Yeah, he stopped streaming because of the COVID restrictions being uh, lifted around the world. So he's he's going back oh, to he's doing going, traveling, he's going back to commentating, and everything else. And so he's yeah. not he won't have time. To, he feels like he won't have time to stream. Well, I think you should just pick up all of his fans then, because that's the <laughs> you're the logical place to go next. <laughs> uh, I should yeah I could sell his merch for him. Boom. Yeah. yeah. Linear Stalk always wears a boom hat with ears. I don't know what the ears have to do with it, but um, cat ears. But yeah, he's got the boom hat. And he's got the boom mug. I mean, he loves Maurice Ashley. He's a very nice guy. I met him. Ah, uh, Montague said he actually missed this bishop takes h2 check in a Dutch versus linear stork. So I've been on the lookout for it ever since. Oh, okay. Yeah, Chess Wizard, that explains it. Man, you got to come to the stream. We learn stuff from each other. Anyway, all right. So, but maybe he doesn't take. Let's see what happens. He does not take. So now the fork is still on, guys. Does he care? Good question. Does he care? Does he do it anyway? Does he move the knight to G? Yeah, I think he does it anyway. He does do it anyway. Here comes the fork, but he says, I don't care about the fork. Right, and the fork I'm doesn't gonna go, come I'm gonna because go, of that. I'm going to go, I'm going to go queen to H4. And so he doesn't do the fork. Oh, okay. He can't afford to take his knight out of there. It, it'll be good night, Irene. Yeah. So he plays pawn to bishop four. Not knight takes king pawn, queen to rook five, and it's over. Like you said. All right. Find a move for black, guys. Yes, Montague. Knight to g4 anyway. So now what? I just have my sugar, so I'm, I'm, I'm ready. <laughs> uh, hmm. I'm loving the F2 square with the fork of the king and queen, but the rook is still holding that. <laughs> yeah, it's like yummy, yummy. Thank you. Thank you for the food for my tummy. Free candy. And then nothing's holding the bishop after that. So, yeah, that, you can get that idea out of your head. Yeah. Do we Montague, you need to be in you need to, to get a lesson, Montague. <laughs> slide, uh, I love your thing. We still can 
We can still slide the queen to e8. Yeah, there goes a candidate move. Give me another one. Uh, lift the rook. To There's a, that's the one Montague Look. saw. Yeah. All right, any other candidates? We'll go common, common themes in the Dutch, right? Common themes. Common themes. That is why you learn the principles and concepts behind an opening and not memorizing all the moves. These moves that you would have to find, you're, I don't know if you're in book, you're, I I'm, I'm, don't think this is book. I don't think you're going to go memorize all these moves, guys. So how do you find the move? You have to find principled moves, candidate moves. And the fact that you understand the opening and the concepts behind the opening helps you pick principled moves within the openings system. All right, Tony calls them an opening system. So there you third, go. That's the way. Candidate. That's the way I want you to learn an opening. Not memorize six different lines and different variations down 15 moves deep. Unless you have photographic memory like Hikaru, you should be learning the concepts behind the opening. And 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 also, if you if you're not a professional, where well, you're going to spend eight hours memorizing lines. So Montague likes queen to e8, um, and then uh, or queen to f6. H6 should also be a potential move. Okay, and, and and you and Montague are on the exact same page now. And none of those were the move, huh? And uh, Chescudo said maybe even E5. And no, Chescudo, that definitely wasn't played. Don't know if it's not a good candidate move. I mean, you drop a pawn and it f don't know what it's freeing for you. I don't know how I don't know why E5 would free enough for you. So I'm not sure. E5, D takes E5, Knight takes E5? Oh, uh, so you can still win this knight? You're still trying to win this knight. Oh, okay. Okay, spooky. Spooky, nice, interesting try. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah, all then you, 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 you lose you a knight up. and a pawn for a knight, and then do you get to mate? I don't know. Yeah, that's interesting, Chess Kudo. We might have to we might have to spend more time looking at that. Um, so, but that wasn't what was done, but yeah, that's very interesting. You're giving me pause here. You're, you're making me think about the pause because, yeah, the last one, the knight takes. Now, after the knight takes, as Chesuiz would will tell you, after the knight takes, you don't have to take back. And in fact, you don't even have to take the first time. So if you do this, it's white. White has a free move. Right? White doesn't have to deal with White could do other things. So just something to keep in mind. White doesn't have to take. Okay. Uh, Montague's decided which of the cannon moves he likes. What do you choose, Irv? Chess Kudo actually agrees with him. Or Chess Kudo said it first. It doesn't matter. I'm thinking the rook lift. All right, rook lift. He played this one. Okay. But hey, thanks for playing. <laughs> well, either one would wind up protecting the pawn and prevent the fork. So okay. Uh -huh. So he does. He but plays you, queen. You've, to you've king often said you've often said getting the queen as close to the king as possible is not bad. Also, so okay. Yeah. So his opponent plays. Uh, um, pawn the king knight three. Taking away the escape square for the bishop, maybe? Giving the king a square, maybe? Okay. I don't know. All right. What do you want for black? Um, I'm, I'm bringing the queen home. H, H5. All right, that I is think. what he did. <laughs> no worries, chess wizard. I forget that you have the power, even. It's, I, no, I'm, no. I have the habit of doing it. When uh, Ratchet actually does my salads for me, it usually surprises me. I'm like, oh, cool. I didn't have to do one. So don't feel bad. Yeah, but if you could get faster than me, that'd be awesome. But anyway, yes, queen to rook four. King steps up, says that's why I pushed the pawn so I could get out of town. Ah, okay. Okay, guys, find the right move. Hmm. Oh, you're welcome, Chess Kudo. 
How many times I played this in a oh, Dutch hello. game? Oh, no. That, oh, man, I can't believe it doesn't work. Shoot. Chess, Chess Kudo says he's played this many times in a Dutch Blitz game. Okay. Really? That's what he said. Yeah, that's probably why the game lasts longer, uh, Montague. Oh, we're on move, uh, we're only on move 13, and the game goes a ways more, so. I won't say how far, because I don't want you to. Queen, uh, bishop takes pawn on g3. Okay. Is that your only candidate, or do you want to look at any others? No. Well, let's see. Right? Uh, actually, then the rook could slide over onto h1. Ah, yeah. So that would probably be really bad for you, right? Which could be troublesome. Mm, I'd have to move the bishop right back. Yeah, but then the then other pieces could get involved too. Um, I mean, the square I absolutely love, but I can't go there. Is is e three? That's like the home e3? run square. But yeah, but it's held by the bishop. But yeah. uh, just super sweet square. Um, okay, so you don't get fixated on it. As soon as you see it's yeah, not yeah. viable, don't get fixated. On, because you can waste many, many, many minutes looking and trying to force something like the other game we were trying to see if we could do the rook takes h7, remember? I mean, h2. Yeah. Don't over fixate. If, if there's any lesson from these games I'll give you is if it's not viable, you need to just say, okay, that's out for now. I, I, I'll come back to it later if it changes, but for now that's not viable, so let me just get rid of it. Uh, how about we lift the rook now? Get more, get more firepower. All right, I will show you what he did because Montague actually found the move. I, you know, I was looking at that for a second. I'm like, I don't know, does that make sense? But yeah, now I'm looking at it, and I think it does. It's amazing. I, I actually, I thought about it. I'm like, okay, well, they just take it off, but then drop the queen in, and hello. All right. Well, we'll find out. If the, if the, you if the king do... takes, if the king takes, it's checkmate. Yes. And if the rook takes, then the king only. Well, the king has an, a couple of escape squares, but no, he doesn't. Doesn't he have two escape squares? The rook takes. Queen goes check. Where does he go? No. He could go to either um, f. One or F3. Okay, let's start with F1. What do you do if your queen is here and his king is here? Yeah. Oh, then you just go to H1 and win the queen. Really? Oh, even better. There's a rook here. Where are you going to H1? You said rook oh. takes. Right, you're right. Check, king here. Yep, I'm not visualizing well. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> Who's in here? Is that you? I don't know. That's not me. I'm not touching anything. Oh, I don't think I was touching anything. Might have been my elbow hitting the keyboard, maybe. I think it was you. I think it was my elbow that was on the keyboard. I apologize. Wow, that went a long way. Yeah, but how could it go anywhere? Because that wasn't what happened. I don't know. I just hit the... I think my it hit the either the space bar or the command key, so... It might have just taken the best moves. I have no idea. No, that wasn't even it. Yeah, those even weren't even moves. Okay, so rook takes. Well, in case and the only other person in here with us was uh, um, Jordan, who I don't even think is online. No, Jordan's not even online. So, yeah, you must have been accidentally hitting something. I don't know what you did. Um, oh, yeah. I wasn't. Anyway, okay. so, yeah, if rook takes, queen here check, king here right. checkmate. Right. And if the king goes here, still, still check me. Okay, good. Still check me. So rook can't take, king can't take. Knight has to take. Knight had to take, so it's forced. It is forced. Ah, uh, chess words have said spacebar turns on the computer and plays top <laughs> computer moves. 
But okay. our computer, but it's not showing is on unless it's on on your computer. Do you see the computer analysis on? I'm seeing black way ahead right now. And yeah, so you've got to turn off your computer analysis, my brother. How do I ask Chess Wizard how to turn at it the off? I know how. At the, at the top right, here, I'll show you full screen. Oh, yeah, I see it. I see it. Yeah, up here, you got to turn this off. Logical evaluation. Yeah, you just turn off the whole thing up here. Oh, hold on. You're, you're showing me something, but I'm not on your screen. Oh, top right, above the, above the score. Right. There's a button. The little, the little green yes, to, yes, it says toggle local evaluation. Yes. Yeah, I took that. Yeah. Okay. So it was you with the space bar. Okay. Elbow hit the space bar. My apologies to all. <laughs> Chess wizard. Thank you again. See, he knows all these things. Okay. So yes, you night takes. Made him a mod a long time ago. Okay. So yes, I should have made him a mod a long time. Okay. So queen. Uh, uh, knight takes bishop. All right. What's next? Uh, well, if you go queen, he's only got one square to go. It's got to be then to F3. And that is what he did. So you want to make that move? Sure, why not? Yeah, that's what uh, Montague likes too. It has to go here. But no, queen to H1 is not checkmate, Montague. It's not checkmate. No, you can still escape. Yeah, it's not checkmate. This game goes on for a few more moves, buddy. E2. Yeah, he's got E2. Yeah, I know. I know, I'm sorry. It's not it. All right. So, uh, queen to rook seven check, king to bishop three. Now, what does black do now? Because it's not here. The king starts running, and then he, he gets away. So you got to find something else, my friend. Ah, chess kudos all over it. Finally. Yeah, chess kudo. It's timing. It's all about timing. It's all about timing. Oh, I lost my cams because I went to full screen. Thank you, Chess Kudo. Thank you. Thank you. I went to full screen. I don't have cameras on that one. Well, at least not both cameras. <laughs> you miscalculated the mate in two. He thought queen to h1 was mate. He was done. He was like, ah, finish this puzzle. <laughs> Give me something else. <laughs> not quite, my friend. Not quite. Uh, and I'm, I'm so liking one of, the knight, fly. one of That's the knights going to e5, but that won't work because you got the two pawns holding. And it went to providing another escape square eventually. Well, since Chess Kudo found it, do you want me to tell you or do you want to still sure. struggle? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, then that sets up what I was thinking. And that's okay. threatening me. Right. So he has to take. Okay. Which way do you think he'll take? Uh, I would take with the F pawn. Because I think it provides the king with another escape square. You know, I would have thought that way too. But his opponent took with the queen pawn. Interesting. And now what do you think happens? Uh, now I think the knight, I think, I want to say knight takes. The question is which one? I don't think it matters. Yeah, knight takes, check. Yeah, which, so it wouldn't have mattered if you had taken with this pawn. He'd probably still take, right? Because you're going to get to the same situation. Yeah, probably, yeah. Okay, so knight takes pawn, check. Pawn, right. And he gets a check. Um, well, it has to take because he doesn't have any place else to go. That's right. Only way to get out of it. And now what does Black do? And... Rawr! Good job, Chess Kudos going King Hunt. Rawr! <laughs> Love it. <laughs> uh -huh. Yes, Mama, you sack a knight. And then sack another knight. But anyway, what's next? Well, if knight takes pawn, it's check. Yeah. But now the king, king has one square. And I remember you saying you love it when the king only has one square to go to. I do love it. It makes life simpler. It doesn't always work. You don't always checkmate them, but 
if they only have one square, it starts making it easier for you to find the right moves, right? Yeah. But now let's see what's the right move now. It might not be that easy. Uh, ooh. No, that doesn't work. Uh, I was thinking. I was thinking. Knight to g6. Well, check. then let's stop thinking because you're correct and Chess Kudo found it too. Check. No, oh, yeah, because you don't have this square. Point. You don't have this square. Now you don't have this square. You don't have this can square. Go back, you can only go back up where you came from. You don't have any of these squares. Right. So, so yeah, you, again, what did, we just, what did we just say? You just made the king have only one square. Mm -hmm. And by the queen still takes away all these squares. All these squares are taken. That king, if you could say check, if, if you could miraculously like drop a bishop here, it would be mate. Right? Yep. Because he'd have, and in fact, even if you could put him here, he could push, then he could still take it and be mate. And in fact, if you could put a bishop here, and then he takes, and then you take, and then he takes, and it's almost mate, but now he gets to come back here, but still. Oh, it's just a thing of beauty still. All right. So, yes, um, king to bishop four. So, what do we do now? We still don't go to h1. Uh, <laughs> and. Like the queen has to. I think the queen has to stay there to prevent that the second file from being used by the king as an escape. Hey, Jerpuff! How are you? Oh, you got that one. Hey, good job. My mod got you this time. Oh, Jerpuff says hi, LLMP. <laughs> hey, Jerpuff, how are you? You remember Jerpuff? You two had a, a yes. nice duo lesson. My, my, Maybe my first duo lesson. Maybe my only duo lesson. I do remember. And she wants to know if you're still playing the bird opening. I am. I am. Yes, he is, as you heard. Oh, uh, <laughs> Chess Kudo says, well, you could play knight to e5 check. Always repeat to gain time. <laughs> You've been true. playing way too much blitz, uh, Chess Kudo. If the You're clock thinking, is running, that is yes. an option. To gain time on the clock. Maybe it's a sudden death time game. There is no increment. Uh, maybe, <laughs> my gosh. Yeah, repeat, because then you might forget and do it three times, and you can get a draw. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it, Jerpuff. I was catching your stream the other day. Ah, Montague wants to sack another uh, knight if he could, but he doesn't see how it could work. Yeah, yeah, I, I, what? I look. Jerpuff said you beat the mess out of her, did you? Me? Yeah, she said you beat the mess out of her. Not intentionally, I would never do that. I, I remember you, I thought you guys split in your uh, lesson. Jerpuff beat you the first time and then you beat her the next game, right? I think that's what happened. Yeah. I don't know, Jerpuff. You're not giving yourself enough credit. Montague I'm, I'm, finds the move. Montague I'm usually the one getting finds beaten. the move. I'm usually the one getting beaten. Um, Chess Kudo agrees with him, but I think he agrees with him. But yes, Montague found the move. Okay. What is it? I feel like I want to get more more ammo, more more pieces in the in the game, but I want to keep checking. Very so good, Montague. Well, I'll where tell you this checks? clue. He said it's the only move that seemed to be um, threatening anything. What are my other checks? Um, knight to h4, sacks the knight. Very good, guys. Uh, no, this is a game. We are reviewing a master game between Glucksburg and Nordsdorf. So, Jerpuff, if you've ever played the Sicilian and you know one of the variations of the Sicilian is called the Nordsdorf uh, Sicilian, this guy's the guy they named it after. Back in 1935. 1935, going over 80 years, 90 years, going on 90 years soon. 
Yeah, not a puzzle. Because <laughs> when the names are harder than the game. <laughs> ah, nerd stuff. Nerd stuff. Did, did he push enough. the F pawn? Yes, he finds it. He pushed the F pawn. Think about it. Yeah, well, that's what I was doing. I was like, yeah, it, he, right, right. Yep. Yeah, and I was I was thinking like the bishop now aligning on the uh, white diagonal with the king and the queen also at some point. Okay, he plays king's pawn, takes pawn. Now, for knight pawn, takes pawn, we'll go over that in a minute. That's the other variation that was not played in the game but also loses. Okay. Yes, it does, Jess Kudo, but it's not mate. Oh, no, it is mate. Oh, no, it is mate. The other one that we haven't looked at, the other option is, um, what is it? Uh, we haven't looked at was this move. So that's an option also. Bishop takes knight was an option. But yes, knight. if the knight pawn takes, then knight here, checkmate. How's that? Because the pawn is pinned. The knight pawn takes, knight to here is checkmate. Wow. That's, that's scary. That's scary that's good. That's sweet. That's sweet yes. is what it is. So he had to take that way because, again, we could even show it right here. That's checkmate. Ow. Ow. Look at all these pieces hanging around. Wow. Anyway, so, yeah, we had um, this pawn takes, and then what? What's our next move? What's the next move, guys? Well, we're going to see, Chess Kudo. We will go over that variation also. That one actually, that one, the bishop takes knight actually lasts longer than, than the game did. Lasts longer than the game did. So the move the guy made in the game was worse than the bishop takes knight. Taking the pawn was worse than the then uh, if, if you if you think lasting longer is better I love it the, the, the chat is getting into this they are throwing out ideas and bouncing them off each other mm -hmm. P flight says he's seen ghosts <laughs> <laughs> well, he must be watching the jet game uh... are they playing tonight on Thursday short week yeah yeah, they're the they're the Thursday night game. And you're not watching them? Oh, they're they're on. They're over there, but they're they're getting <laughs> oh, killed. I was gonna so. say I'm so honored that you they're getting killed. That you'd rather spend time with me and work on a lesson than to watch your beloved Jets. Well, they're getting killed, so of course I'd rather spend time with you. Yeah, were they getting killed when we started the lesson? Um, no, the game just started. The game started. Right. Like so you still spent all this time with me? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I'm honored. Oh, thanks. I'm at least um, equal to the lousy Jets this year. If they were doing well, if they were in the playoff hunt, you might not be uh, talking to me at all, right? Uh, well, they're the Jets, so <laughs> let's be real. It's a moot point. It doesn't matter. Um, It'll never happen. I'm thinking F4. I got the Knight. I've got the Rook on F4. Um, the, knight, the Knight moved to... Knight to E, uh, E5, check. Again, the, the same like you said before, the pawn is pinned. He can't take the knight. Gives black, uh, gives the white king one square to go to. Uh, but eventually, well, also could go to, yeah. Could no, he can't there. go there. Was, was right, he can't there. go there. Right. And the knight is too. Right, that's right. One square. Uh, Which but we like one square. Also, for that, at that point, yeah. Um, but then also then later on could potentially go to to D three, D four, and then yeah, run away. So run away, run away. Run away, run away. Uh and then, and then they talked to your 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 uh, your fellow viewers have talked about rook to E eight, a nice calm move, but yeah, they threw uh, that out. No, we gotta we gotta be more aggressive here. We gotta Had we, somebody we, even we, like H five? 
if we wait and drop, if we drop a move, if we let white get tempo here, then I don't want that to happen. So I was also looking at it's a sack move, but bishop to bishop to g4 doesn't feel right because if you sack. Chess Kudo, you're starting to impress me, young man. You do the sack. Chess you Kudo, you're starting to impress me, young man. Can't bring the queen over the top. Now, if you take with the knight, you take the pawn with the knight. Well, if you take the pawn with the rook, it's checked. And poor Montague wanted to do it and discounted it, decided it didn't work. And then Chess Kudo came back around to it and decided it works. Rook takes, let me guess, Rook takes f4? Nope. No, okay. Chess words, it also looked it over and decided it didn't work. That did take long though, yes. You, you're probably a lot faster at puzzles, Chess Kudo, than that. And it was, Montague, I'm giving you total credit. It was your first idea, it was your idea way early. And I haven't heard um, my students say it yet. But I might have missed it because I've been reading. Oh, okay. And P Flight actually was looking at it too as a as the ghost he was chasing. Knight to H four? Yes, Kudo does have some upgraded calculation power. Jerpuff, don't feel bad. I'm waiting to see it myself. Alright. I give up. Show me. I said that. Wait, oh see, you did say it. Yeah. How long ago? Uh, uh, like two minutes ago. Oh, okay. It wasn't your first. I said, I, I said, I said, bishop to g four. I said, but king takes bishop, and then I couldn't find the next move, so that's why I went away from it. Okay, and so, what is the next move? King has to take bishop, right? It's forced. Um, no, he, he could go here. No, he could go. He could run away and lose his queen, and yeah, but I don't see any. I don't see. I don't see death imminent so okay fair enough right so king takes bishop because he doesn't see death imminent either but kudo found it <laughs> montague is like this is nasty a different move but yeah oh no it's it's the right move yeah montague i hear you uh oh h4 H5, rather? Ooh, not yet. Because on H5, he goes back. Yeah. But you're close. Right, and that's okay. It just gives up the... Gives it up. Yes. Yes, Jerpuff. This is beautiful. This is, I, I'm getting goosebumps again. This is why I love going over these games, especially these games. It's like going over a towel game, right? These, like most of Tal's great wins, not all of his wins, not all of his games. He, he's also lost pretty badly. Yes, it is good. It, I find it very good. When I get these goosebumps and then I go play, I find moves like this later. I start finding these moves. No. I'm very impressed, Kudo, that you found all of that before we moved it. That was good. That's very good. I'm impressed. Just label me impressed. Put it across my forehead. Oh. Oh. Is that right? Huh. Knight to knight to e5. He finds it, guys. What's the move? Check. What does White have now, to do? Pawn takes. Has to. Now, now push the pawn to h4, h5. Check me. Wow. Wow, you said it. Woo! Yeah, uh, Montague said he thought the bishop to g1 move was the prettiest move, but it just kept getting prettier and prettier. And, and look at the get, get, guys, 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 look at the end. Black has sacrificed every minor piece. 
Black has sacrificed every minor piece, and that's why this is, um, Tadakalver said this is a immortal game. Black sacrificed every minor piece. <laughs> he didn't even trade it. He sacked it. Every minor piece. Is he wow. even up any pawns? Two, five versus six. Okay, he sacked every minor piece for one pawn. Ah. Oh right, my so now, goodness. All right, so go back. Go back. Keep going back. Keep going back. Keep going back. Stop. At this point, all the minor pieces are on the board. Yes. Right? And he's going to sack all of these pieces. Go, go, go forward. Go forward. Next move. Next move. Sack number one. Okay. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Go back. All right. When that move there, my question to you is, Naj Najdorf, did he do the calc and actually know he was going to win the game the way he won the game? Who knows? At this point. Who knows? What move, I will tell you is because they're sitting 13. there. Move 13. They have a lot of time to think this through, right? They're they're not they're playing a classical game, right? Nineteen thirty-five. They had clocks, um, so they're but they're playing a classical game. A lot of time, probably four hours for the match, um, for the game, something like that. He, he's got time to calculate, but even without it, one is he only has one move that keeps him from getting mated. Remember, we talked about limiting moves, right? I guess he has another move. He could go here and not get mated, but then he just starts losing material too. All right. So, knowing that this is going to happen, knowing that this is going to happen, knowing he has to go here, and then seeing that everything is taken away, I could see him thinking, I got to have her mate in here. Right? Now, who knows if he saw all the way through, but there ha he has to have been able to figure out that he had a mate in there and, and maybe he took the risk. Uh, Tal said many times that he took the shot. He didn't know if it was going to work in the end, but it felt right instinctively. And yeah, so who knows? Uh, we'd have to probably have find somebody that interviewed him. But this is known as, uh, per Tartakawa, as the immortal game. He said, in this delightful game, which Tartakawa called the Polish Immortal, Narjdorf sacrifices all his minor pieces to mate with a pawn, a work of art which would deserve high ranking on any critic's list of brilliancies. So I need to, I'm supposed to do a collab with Thinker Teacher on Sunday, guys. Um, this Sunday I'm doing a collab with Thinker Teacher, I think at 2 o'clock it starts. I'm supposed to do lessons at 1, but I'm just going to do normal uh, stream at 1 because at 2 o'clock, I'm doing a collab with Thinker Teacher, and I'm I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to I'm going to make him see because he's he's from Poland. I got to show him this game. I got to show him this game, and he might even know it, right? I mean, it's called the Polish Immortal, the Polish Immortal game. You would think he should know this game, being from Poland, and you know you know he has an extensive library of books. So I will I will see if Thinker Teacher knows this game. Hey, give her water. I am. You're welcome. I, that is the nicest thing you could do for anyone that coaches or teaches. Come back and let them know that what they, they that they actually helped you at all. Thank you for for letting me know. Thank you. That's awesome. All right. So, I told you though that there was a variation that would have lasted longer. So we need to look at that variation, right? So where was it? It was, where was it? It was back here, right? Here, right here. We said at move 20, at move 20 that white could have played. It, we said if he takes this way, it's checkmate real fast. So it wasn't, but it, what happens if he takes bishop takes knight? What if he plays bishop takes knight? What do you do now? What do you guys say do we do now? Yeah, guys, it's not over. You thought it was over. It ain't over. Yeah, Chess Kudo, I got to talk to you about this thing about getting bored. 
Hey, Seven. Yeah, could you do a shout out for Seven for me, uh, um, Chess Wizard? And give her water. I'm really glad that, glad that the advice helped. I'm glad. Are you, did you play over the board or were you playing online? Yes, got to use up those last brain cells. We don't want them to go to You know, you got to use them. Use them or lose them, man. Use those brain cells or lose them. Thank you for the shout out there, Chess Wizard. Hope everything's going well, Seven. We got to work on that English. We got to have an English lesson. I, I, I mean, Sudakus and Bazaar, uh, they all help me with my Spanish. The least I can do is help you with English, my friend. So we have uh, F takes G3. Yeah, check. that's what I'm thinking. Okay. I got uh, uh, Montague says F takes G3 check. I, I, I'm that's almost right. tempted to say we shouldn't do anything until uh, Chess Kudo tells us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's online? Okay, give her water. So Chess Kudo says, why not still do Bishop to G4? And then queen takes g3, or is my mind failing me? So, it is. You are correct. The move is still bishop to g3. How's that? You still found it. Bishop to, uh, um, sorry, to g4. Bishop to g4, or in old English notation, bishop to knight 5 check. King takes bishop. Queen takes pawn check. It's not mate, though. King the rook five. Now what? How's that though? How's that king feeling? Feeling pretty safe about right now? <laughs> and and if you guys check, if you check, black still has already sacrificed every minor piece. They're all gone already, guys. All the minor pieces are gone. <laughs> ah! They're all gone already. Oh, chess. <laughs> yeah, get the spelling right. <laughs> so um, they're they're they are complimenting Chess Kudo for finding these moves, and Chess Wizard said Chess Kudo is tilted. Tilted means when you've lost a couple of games, or you you know, and you like you you start losing everything. You know, it's like in in uh, any like uh, golf, right? You play golf, so you you know you hit a couple of bad shots. And then, like, every shot after that just goes downhill because you're, like, totally, you, you've lost confidence. And H takes G6, check. Uh, let's find out. Um, so, Chess Wizard said Chess Kudo is tilted, but he meant to say he was titled. That he's so strong that he's a titled player, but he said tilted. But anyway, that made me laugh. I'm sorry. Anyway, where are we at? Uh, so, H takes G6. Uh, uh, Kudo and Irving both say that. So, yes, King to Rook 5, Pawn takes Bishop, check. King takes pawn, forced, right? He only got one move. And Rook to F6. Six. Rook, Rook to F6. Very good. Check. Is it checkmate yet? No. Back to King to Rook no. 5. And now slide the Rook over to H3. Checkmate. H6, but we get your point. Uh, H, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm thinking from black. Hey, Satoshi! How are you, my friend? Haven't seen you in a while. I always can't read that last letter, but anyway. All right. Um. Yeah. Yeah. How's that? Fantastic. That was fantastic. That was flat out fantastic, guys. Those were great games, and they are going to be in this study for as long as we want. So now I got. I got to show you. I did some. I'm working on um, some new. Let me see how I can show this to you guys the best way. Uh, I want to show this to you. How can I show this to you the best way? I'm going to see if this will bring it up. I don't know if this will work. Nah, this is ugly. I don't want to use this. Oh, man, I want to show you the ideas I have. I've been building out some here. There you go. Can you see it? I'm covering up my brother's picture. There you go. So these are pictures I am looking at using for um, the emotes. All right, so I, I where's the pictures? These aren't the right, oh, I know where they are. Give me one sec, guys. Oh, I don't have them on here. They're on my other computer. I will show you Sunday. I'm working on emotes. I will show you on Sunday. I, I, I worked on them, but I they're on my computer's downloads. 
they're not in here yet. So I'm gonna have a set of emotes for you guys to look at and you'll help me pick if you want the new emotes for followers because you can do emotes just for followers now. So I'll be able to do that and I'm working on some new emotes and so I need your guys help to pick out my emotes where you want them. I got some cat ones, but I also, as you guys suggested, I did ones with my shirts. So you guys hopefully could tell me if you like those, all right? Sunday, we'll do that Sunday. Actually, I could do it tomorrow, possibly. I am doing a one-on-one -on -one lesson tomorrow at 11 o'clock, not with LLMP this time, but yes, I talk with my hands. Italian, you should be liking it. I thought you were speaking Italian. Um, yeah, my brother practices learning Italian while I do Spanish and we try to understand each other. It works out actually pretty decent. So tomorrow, yeah, it will be fun. Good, good. Yeah, I'm not in Blitz. No one came Chess Kudo, I don't think. That's why we like longer games. I agreed, Montague. Those were beautiful tactics. All right. So that I'll try to do tomorrow, and if not, definitely Sunday. Tomorrow at 11 o'clock, uh, 11 a.m. Eastern a.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'm doing a one-on-one -on -one lesson with Patrick Clus 513. So they'll just like we had a one-on-one -on -one lesson with Irv tonight, we'll have a lesson with Patro on Friday, tomorrow, 11 o'clock. Now I have to get back to work on his to see what I'm going to be able to help him with. Uh, I got to see what level he's at. And as you know, what I like to do as a chess coach slash teacher, but this is coaching because it's one-on-one. -on -one, I like to find specific things to help you improve. And I try to only give you one or two things per lesson. So this one with Irv, we did end game reviews first just to get his mind going. And it's always, end games are always good. You can't go wrong with reviewing end games. And then we went into the Dutch because he said he wanted to learn more about the Dutch. So we saw some really nice uh, stonewall Dutches, and we saw, I don't even know what this ver variation is, but I like it too, except that bishop was so badly placed and had to move again, so it's interesting. Uh, we did see, uh, in this last game, we got to see the, uh, what, what, what do they call it? The Greek gift, basically. I mean, we had this beautiful Greek gift bishop sack right there. It's like, oh, you didn't, you didn't take Eve, and you blocked the queen? Oh yeah, we're, we're, we're sacking. We're sacking. Sacked right away and still came in and and uh, all those moves except for maybe this one. This would be the one that we're, I think all of us would be like, I could find all the other moves. But starting with this move, it starts getting weird. Okay, like, and then you gotta find this move. And then you gotta find, give me every piece I had. Let me just give them all away. <laughs> that is a thing of beauty. Yeah, you should be, Montague. You should be happy with your bishop to G1. Totally. All right, guys. Um, any questions before we uh, find someone to raid tonight? Just kudo. Always love having you on stream. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for showing up, Montague. Uh, all of you guys, thank you for showing up. Sudaku's chest, thank you. Satoshi, glad to see you again, my friend. Oh, another tournament coming up soon? Ah, oh, all right. Oh, you're... He's debuting Irv in his first Over the Bird tournament. Oh, who no, is? It Who's wasn't that? good. He said his. Uh, this is Satoshi Sensei. Uh, if I remember correctly, Sensei. He's uh, from Japan, and that's why he he has trouble catching me because the time difference. Um, mm. If I remember correctly, so you just said my debut Over the Board tourney was just awful. All right. So your next tourney coming up is it Over the Board? Is going to be February seventh. February 7th, so you got time. You got time. You need to, you need, hey, you got time, man. We got to work. So um, Tony, one of our very strong players, he's an expert right now. Uh, he says at a minimum, you're looking at equal splitting your study and playing time. So Soshi, I would say, Satoshi, I'd say, how much have you played in the last month? And if you told me, or last week, and if you tell me, oh, I play about four hours a day or three hours a day or two hours a day, you should be studying the same amount a day. So there you go. If you've been playing for two hours a day, you should study two hours a day. And study is doing things like going over games like this. All right, guys. Uh, let's see. What part, of, what part of Japan is uh, Soshi from? Hey, Satoshi, what part of Japan are you from? My brother actually visited Japan recently, I believe. 
It's the J Japanese Open. Or the Japan Open, mm. sorry. The Japan Open from 20th? Mm. What do you mean from 20th? What are you doing, Chess Wizard? Oh, Chess Wizard is just trying out all the commands now, now that he's a mod. <laughs> you're, you're welcome. You're welcome, Sudakus. Thank you very much. Yeah, I don't know that Sudakus is even doing his I Am Not an I Am tournament anymore. That's why I didn't use it today, Chess Wizard. Yeah, he's he's uh, looking at changing and doing a different type of tournament. So let's hold off on, on telling people about that. And I usually only do that on Tuesday or Monday because then his tournament is on Wednesday. I don't usually tell him about it on Thursday when his tournament would have been yesterday. Yeah, that's bad timing. But I'm glad you're finding all the commands. <laughs> My gosh. Uh, ah, give somebody all that power and look what they do. Oh, mostly reading theory, doing tactics, and he's from Kobe. Is that the right way to pronounce it? Kobe? K yes, B E. Co Kobe. Have you ever famous been there? for the uh, famous for the world famous Kobe steaks. Okay, and then, but he's that's where he's from. But currently, he lives in Chiba. Okay. Or Chiba. Yeah, I've been. I visited Osaka and I visited Tokyo. Okay. Uh, two two places I've been to, but uh, I've not been to Kobe and I've not been to Chiba, but. It was very, I loved it. I loved it when I went. I had a great time. Oh, so your tournament, you said two slash seven, but for some reason what you really meant was the 20th of November. Okay, you don't have a lot of, a lot of stuff to talk about. shall not pass! Yeah, 20th of November. Is that November. Chess Wizard again? Yes. You have 20th <laughs> of November. You don't have as much time, yes. But yeah, I, you know, okay. So you're studying, studying, and how much time are you putting into study? How much time are you putting in, though? I'm just curious. Emperor Palpatine voice, unlimited power. Chess wizard. <laughs> unlimited power. Yeah, I can have it all. Anyway, I don't know how his voice does it. Wow, look at that. Um, Montague, his mate, and his friend, family are moving to Osaka. Wow. And you can't even place the uh, the clip in Discord. Oh, nice. There you go. There you go, Sotashi, my brother, sharing out pictures from his trip to Japan. Yeah, you, you can't play, post a clip. Which clip is this? You can send it to me on a whisper. Send it to me via whisper. Or via Lee Chess, by the way. You can message me on Lee Chess uh, directly. Yeah, if you can't do it on Discord anyway, just send me a link on Lee Chess. If it's not a long clip, I'll play it. Wow, you're spending five hours per day. What? What? Do you not have a job anymore? What's up? And uh, Satoshi uh, identified that as Fuji. Yep. Yeah. And and there's a. Um... He wasn't testing exactly. you, though, Satoshi. There's an exact replica of the Eiffel Tower called the Tokyo Tower, and, but it's painted red as opposed to the Eiffel Tower, but it's in the, in the center of uh, Tokyo. Nice. Oh, and Montague is playing an over-the-board rated game. Okay, it's just a rated game, not a tournament? Oh, wow. Okay, it's a club championship where we play uh, 75 plus zero game every three weeks. A five round, round Swiss. Well, good luck, my friend. If you want to, if you need any help in prepping you for it, let us know. Love helping. We love teaching and helping, guys. And Montague, you play two of the openings I play. Montague, what do you play against E4? Out of curiosity. Ah, oh, Satoshi, you're a freelancer? Good. Hey, and his last project uh, um, finished a few weeks back, so you have nothing but time. Awesome sauce. Studying five hours, though, you know, you probably want to spend some time playing. Yeah, you want to you want to exercise the brain with actually playing games, too. I know you're not playing much, but I would. I would play games. Yeah, not Blitz, not Bullet. What's your time control on this champion? I'm, I'm going to bet if it's the championship, it's a classical speed, right? Play some classical games online. Or or find a friend to play, right? In person. Ah, 
I am actually holding a tournament on Saturday for my uh, students. So we're doing a rated tournament on Saturday. It's going to be 30 plus zero uh, Swiss. But yeah, we'll, we'll, see. we'll do three or four rounds depending on how many people show. Well, Montague, you should do, is this your first time playing over the board or you used to do it all the time anyway? All right, the Scandi against E4, you and John Bartholomew. Wow. Yeah, I understand, Satoshi. Oh, you sent this clip on Lee Chess? Okay. Is it something we have time to look at real quick? What am I looking at? He's debuting Irv in his first over the board tournament. Oh. Who is? No. He's debuting Irv in his first over the board tournament. Oh. Who is? No. He's debuting. <laughs> that is perfect. Uh, <laughs> Chess Kudo did a clip from my stream where I misspoke and said, talking about Montague, who plays the bird opening, who on his stream, he dresses like 007, and he calls himself Bird, Henry Bird. And he has all these uh, 007 references, and I misspoke, Freudian slip, I said he has his first over the bird tournament. <laughs> Oh, that was clip. So maybe that was just your Michigan accent kicking it. That was a great clip. Oh, I love it. Yeah, my Michigan accent. Yeah, stumbling over my tongue. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> chess wizard. Why is this? Is this? Um, feels like it's. Um, um, oh, I won't tell you about it. Anyway, it's a, it reminds me of a um, movie by um, with um, Clint Eastwood, where he's a marine. Right. But anyway. Keep, uh, keep talking. Be, be right back. Okay. Uh, let's see. So you you want to give you two choices of shirts I'm going to wear tomorrow on stream. Okay, Batman or Batman or Green Lantern, but it's Blue Lantern. So Batman or Blue Lantern. There you go. Two choices. I don't know why you want that, but I, I Chess Wizard, I trust you. So I give I, I you ask I I. You ask, you shall receive. Oh yeah, the Lee Chess 45-45 uh, games coming up. Good. Yes, new season for 90 plus 30 on Lee Chess coming up too. Nice. Yeah, but you should play some games, my friend. Again, you know, let me know. Uh, I need to play classic games because I'm prepping for over the board also. So I wouldn't mind. Uh, I know you only have two weeks. I'd play you at least one a week. You know, we could pick a day and time. Doesn't have to be on stream or anything. And I can play you a 30 plus or a 40 plus or whatever you want. I, I can play you a game for you for training. So let me know. Better for you to play it in person, of course. But I would play, I would not only play a classical game, um, try to play maybe one a day. If you're studying five hours, play one classical game a day. And you can even do it while you're studying other stuff, right? But I would play it as if you're playing over the board. Now, you could go as far as to set up a board. But if you set up a board, don't move any pieces that you don't move in the game. Don't touch a piece without moving it. And, or if you're playing online, then you turn off the, um, you turn off like, you know, don't have a confirm move. Don't draw arrows at all. Do it all in your head and then make the move exact. All right. <laughs> you are now officially a member of the club. <laughs> You can get lessons for the rest of your life now. I figure if I'm going to be on the stream, I got to go superhero. You it's know? about time. I, wow. What took you so long? It took me 30 pounds to lose. I had to lose 30 pounds to fit into the shirt. Well, well we should give you just like applause for the losing the 30 pounds. Forget about the shirt. Yeah. All right. Got to give you some love for that. Yeah, so, uh, but there you go, uh, Satoshi, I would, I would play that, but play it strict, be strict with yourself, so that you play it, so try to simulate what it's going to be like playing over the board, so just to help you in prep. Make your practice as much like the real thing, right, Irv, that's for every sport. Make your, another shirt, oh, look at this, quick change, quick change, Batman, yes, quick change, I'm not going to do quick changes, but that's good, I'm impressed, <laughs> Batman too, all right. Um, let's see, uh, Monica, you only started playing chess in February? 
Wow. 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 Okay, so you were an OOP before you played your first over-the-board game, meaning that you only, you're only online player. Montague, you're playing very good for, for only starting in February. You're, you are playing very good. Very good. I'm signing off, bro. All right. I will talk to you later. Have a good night. Oh, and just in case anyone cares, it's uh, 41 to 10 Indianapolis. Who'd you pick? You did my picks. I picked Indianapolis. Yes. We got one win at least. We start. It's always nice you start off on Thursday with your football pool picks with a win. Yeah. It's a good Listen, thing. I'm a Jet fan, but I'm a realist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate that. I'll talk to you later, bro. Thanks for the lesson. See Thanks, you later. Thanks, everybody. All right, so I'm going to lose my camera, and let's see if I go to lecture, if I can get my camera back. How do you like that for smooth? Was that smooth, guys? That was smooth. That was a smooth transition. I'll take it. All right, we still got to we got to we got to go hit somebody up. It's getting late. You got me up past my bedtime, guys. But Montague, uh, love it that you're playing so well, so quickly, and I don't know why you picked the birds and the Dutch, but I'm happy because those are the two openings I play over the board, over the bird. Yeah. So, um, yeah, yeah, nice. You're gonna do a vote, uh, chess wizard? Okay. Do you have that power too? Oh, I said uh, either Batman or Blue Lantern. Gigi! Batman or Blue Lantern was the two. It's Green Lantern, but it's the Blue Lantern shirt. So it's the blue. You know, they have all different colors for the Lantern core. B6 for Saturday against D4. Ah, I want to talk to you. I'm curious about that. That would be an interesting line to play against D4. Uh-oh. Can I... Can I Pick one, two. Look at that, guys. You get to pick. I'll pick one, two. <laughs> we'll see what you guys come up with. I'll have to. I'll have to wear the shirt now that Chess, Chess Wizard has taken over my stream. <laughs> Him and my daughter—they're about the same. Actually, you guys are the same age. You both like to take over my stream, and I love it. A thirty plus thirty would be nice. Yeah, we could do that. We can, In fact, I'm sure some of these other viewers would be willing to do that with you too. Now we got to find a time that works for you. So uh, Satoshi, my name on Lee Chest is Tiberian. So just Tiberian. Hit me up on Lee Chest. Start messaging me on Lee Chest, and we'll work out a time and a day, and we'll get to play. Spider Man, man, Spider Man. Yes, yes. I didn't. I didn't. I could have picked Spider Man, but uh, I didn't. I didn't know that we were doing a vote. So I just picked two shirts that I thought I might wear tomorrow. Okay, that'll work. Perfect. It's funny. I'm telling you all that. And you already said it. I just didn't catch up on the... Uh, I did not catch up on the uh, chat. Oh, really? Superhumanists is also a bird play? Oh, man. We got we to gotta make a bird club. He batters you senseless. I'll play the birds with you, too. So he plays the blur bird, but then he turns around and he beats you up when you play the bird. Okay. Oh, really? Is it Blue Lantern? Okay. Yes. Definitely. Definitely. Larson, right? The lar the bird Larson. Uh, Larson got his name attached with the bird, and he would, st he would get into the bird through B3. Yep. I love the birds. I love it. It's just fun. It's just fun. But B3 is a nice... Especially if you find people that play... Um, if they fee and shadow their king's bishop as black and gets starts um, making it difficult for you to fee and shadow your bishop, well, if you do it right away, then you're ahead. So I like Bird Larson. I like Larson. I like Bird, I mean. I love it. All right, so Blue Lantern shirt for tomorrow. Uh, I'll have to pick it out and make sure I don't forget and wear something else tomorrow. Blue Lantern is the winner. I'm going to uh, adhere, and I will hopefully have the different emotes so you guys can pick and tell me which emotes you'd like as followers because it's followers get to have them bishop takes f6 immediately and c4 the knowers no d5 is annoying there though okay so is that as uh, bird you're saying bishop takes f6 
and c4 comes the afterwards okay yeah you're gonna have to i'll have to look at that line i don't know if i've ever played that line you're welcome it wasn't some incredible dutch weren't they yeah El montague you know the first ones we did in this when we were going through this book the first ones we did were birds so you might have to go catch find that uh, vod if you weren't here for that one all right gosh guys uh went way over time way over time let's go to oh i gotta go back to twitch let's go back to twitch and uh josu lives is our only team streamer i don't know i don't think crybaby carly's on our team anymore um my gosh crybaby carly is rocking 490 people are watching crybaby carly she's i actually like her she's nice i gave her a lesson before 